Okay, can we just talk about Instagram? Not Instagram. Tati Westbrook is Instagram and I'm reality with the hair. She has this like very casual messy bun going on and hers looks so perfect, but mine is like falling apart. <laughs> It's such a hot mess. I have like my hair is frizzy. It's like falling apart back here. Flyways everywhere. Hot mess up there. What is happening? We're just gonna roll with it. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited because I am gonna be doing a video that someone requested a while back and I was like, oh my gosh, this is such a good idea. I have to do this video. And basically I am gonna be watching the JLo's Makeup Artist Does My Makeup video that Tati Westbrook uploaded a while back with makeup artist Scott Bars, who of course is a celebrity makeup artist, most known most known for being JLo's makeup artist, and I'm gonna be following their method, Scott's techniques, and all of that to do my makeup. Not just on my face, I also know they do something on the body as well. So I'm so excited to get started, and let's just jump right into it, because I don't wanna waste any more time. Actually, really quick, fun fact, I have met Scott Barnes in Vegas when I went out there with Inglot for the JLo and Inglot collaboration. He was so nice and truly an artist in every sense of the word. The way he does his makeup in person is insane, like so inc incredibly talented. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am a little bit starstruck at the moment. I have Scott Barnes with me and how are you here right now? This is so cool. Um, you guys have probably heard me talk about Scott like 5,000 times. Okay, I'm gonna kind of like fast forward this part because I wanna just get right into the makeup portion because, oh my gosh, I just realized this video is 30 minutes. All right, let's fast forward to the actual makeup application. I always start with contouring. I always start with the dark and then I add the light. It's not about contouring on top of makeup. Sometimes it is, but not usually. So I'm gonna treat you. Okay, so I never personally start with contouring. I almost always, not almost, I always start with doing my base first. So like my foundation, concealer, all of that. And then I apply my contour, like as one of the last steps. So let's see how this works out. All nighter, right? Okay. What I like to do with this is to bring it in and you just use it to like eliminate stuff. So he's applying the concealer first and he's using the concealer that's a few shades lighter than her skin tone. I thought he was just gonna go straight in with a contour. All right, I'm using the KKW concealer because this is like one of my favorites as like a hydrating concealer. And he really brought this out all the way to the side of her nose. And then kind of like took it back like this down to this area, which actually this is like really smart to kind of highlight here because do you guys see I have like a natural darkness around my mouth. I know a lot of people do. Never really thought to bring it down like that. That's like genius. Okay, I may have messed up this video already, but I went right on top and applied the e.l.f. 16 hour concealer. And this is in the shade Tan Sand. As always, everything will be linked below. For calls this a cat paw. Oh. Because she goes, <gasps> look, it's like a cat paw. <gasps> I love that. So anyway, um, what I like to do with it is just kind of blend it out. And just working into the skin. Now I'm starting to feel like that guy from, remember who used to do oh, the painting? Bob Ross. Okay, we're gonna put a little truth. <laughs> really is like the way he's kind of just like blending everything out, it is truly like a, a painter, just like painting. And I have never, I don't think I've ever, maybe once, used a flat foundation brush like this to blend out my concealer, but why the heck not? It's working and boom, it is blending it out so nicely. Why have I never used this technique before? Now he's just kind of like blending everything out. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I do remember hearing him say to always think lifting up. So that's like the technique that I'm gonna be following is just lifting up. Jaws, we're gonna come in with the jaws of life. Ooh, yeah. Named it. Oh, you named this look? Yeah, it's yeah, called it's Snatural. Snatural. <laughs> it's <gasps> smashed, but natural. I love it. That's so good, Snatural. I love that. That is so freaking good. Oh my God, I love that. It's natural. Snatural, yeah, I love that. Okay, so before they go too far into the video, I am gonna move on to the next step, which is contouring, and he's actually using a brush like this. He went like this, and then took it down like that and like truly just like defined her jaw now she already has like a crazy snatched 
jawline. I personally don't. I actually have this area right here um, that I sometimes used to get like insecure about, but like now I'm like whatever. But you know what? If this is gonna help, I might start to do this technique. Let me just tell you. Again, on this side. Oh my God. My someone's neck. This is what I do. Bring it into a V. I don't think my neck needs to be minimal. No. This is my area that I don't like. Scott actually is always like, It's beautiful. What? Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. He said if you wanna minimize your neck, you bring it down into a V, why not? Ooh, okay, so I'm gonna go like this and really kinda like pop my collar here. And then we're gonna just like really define them. This is really truly doing the most. I don't really ever do this. Do you guys remember a while back when like, chest contouring was so big on YouTube. I don't think it was on big on YouTube, it was on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, what is happening here? So now he applied the same contour on her cheekbones and he applied a lot. Like I never applied this much, you guys. This is a lot. And see, I brought it down too much. So you know what? I need to kind of like erase it. It's like harder than it looks, okay? I'm just gonna say it, it's harder than it looks. And also, I don't really ever contour my forehead because uh, I have a two head, and well, actually now I have a three head, um, ever since removing all the hair on my forehead. But we're gonna follow the video exactly, fam. We're doing it. It is looking so intense in person. I don't know what it's looking like truly on camera. Here is what my contour is looking like right now. I feel like I really blended it out on my forehead, but not so much on the side of my face and the cheeks. What are we doing? Let's keep going. The light. And then this is where people really mess up with contouring. They over contour and then they drag all this brown into the nose mm -hmm. and into the side of the face. And then they just face tune it later, just saying. Which is... <laughs> Which is okay, so I have to admit, nose contouring is the trickiest thing to do ever because a lot of times, and I've seen this myself, I used to do the same thing. People put it too like on the side of the nose. Um, and it's something that I've always struggled with too. And then at the end, you're left with like nothing, you know? So he has kept his nose contour really precise. So I'm gonna just say like, follow this image again. Let me screenshot it so you guys can see like your shape and he did like a very thin straight line here and then he really brought it down a lot down here see i kind of wish that i made it a little bit closer together the lines but whatever Fuller lip. Ooh, not i'm line. excited about this part okay so he kind of like outlined outside the lip. Same thing on the side. And then he followed the natural shape of her lip. This is doing the most. <laughs> okay. We'll see how this blends out. All right, here is my <laughs> contour and highlight all done. And now I think we're going into foundation. Chanel on you. Ready? Oh, we're gonna start with the bottom. He's kind of ready and I'm like, this is so relaxed. I don't think I have ever put foundation on my chest. I don't think I have. Maybe I have, but I don't think I have. Um, but let's keep watching. This is so interesting. Seeing you, guys. seeing you guys, I usually sit here and I have to do all the work and I'm just like, this is playtime for all of them. Yes. But were you there the last show? Yes, of course. So was I. Were you? But I was screaming like a little girl in the audience. How good yeah. was that show? So good. I miss doing that show, actually. So, it's fun. Oh my gosh, you guys. I've seen a lot of shows in Vegas, and she killed it. I was looking at the makeup, and I'm like, that is so Scott's makeup. Like, that is just... She really did. I remember seeing that same show in Vegas. She is outstanding. When I tell you Jennifer Lopez... To me, Jennifer Lopez is, like, not even real. She is so stunning in real life. She is so fit in real life. And she's actually so nice in real life, which I was like, you know, when it's like a huge celebrity, you kind of expect them to like, I don't know, not that I expect, I don't expect celebrities to be nice, but she was like so extremely nice. Um, and I loved her Vegas show as well. Okay, we are applying foundation on my chest and he went right on top of that contour. Okay, so I just kind of want to pause here and take some foundation on my stippling brush, which by the way, 
Do we remember the time when stippling brushes for foundations was like the thing? I remember it was the MAC brush too. Oh my gosh, I forget which brush it was. But everyone was using this brush to apply their foundation. I feel like no one uses it anymore, myself included. I just prefer like my beauty sponge, you know? But this does give you like a really nice airbrushed feel and look. And he's kind of like applying it in like an outward motion. And see like now, it just blends in with my um with my contour and highlight what this looks so good already my forehead okay 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 hold on a second so what he's doing is actually using the foundation to blend out and make the contour more natural as he says so i'm gonna just kind of like follow his technique and do the same this is so interesting i'm just going back in with this brush right here also from tarte and just kind of like adding back some of that contour. Okay, so instead of just eliminating that lip, we're just patting over it gently, like that. Ooh. She's there, but she's blended. When did you discover that technique? Okay, so there you go. He's just taking the same foundation and just using a tiny bit of product, you don't want too much, and kind of just like blending it out instead of like completely erasing the contour. And do we see that now? It makes it look like my lips are bigger than they actually are. That's pretty genius, I have to say. I might start to do that technique. That actually worked out so, so well. Okay, so see, now he's really going in and kind of like blending out the contour and making it look more natural. So what I'm understanding is that you want the contour to be there, but you want it to be so natural. Hence, he says, it's natural. I get it, Scott, I get it. I was swatching on the back of my hand and people try on lipsticks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I got a fungus on my hand. So be careful with those oh! drugstore things. Oh my God, this is why I always tell everybody do not try on lipsticks at Sephora. Don't You're like, eh, eh, and then oh everybody else gosh. did it. You don't know no. where those you lips are. I don't want to say about this. this. I worked at a counter and I've seen oh people do weird things with weird. testers. And I'm just like, like weird. I literally. And I think you'll understand this if you worked at any makeup counter. And this is so freaking true. I remember working at Sephora, I remember working at MAC, and people really do a lot of weird things with testers. I've seen people lick lipsticks. I've seen people use mascara wands, which by the way, at MAC, we were supposed to cut the mascara wands, which is why you have the disposable ones. Uh, but sometimes like maybe one or the other gets missed and people use that. People use eyeliner straight without cleaning it. All the tools that you need to sanitize your makeup is right there. No matter what makeup store you go to, whether it's Sephora or it's uh, MAC or Lancome, and whoever you go to, they all have the same tools to sanitize your makeup. Just think about it. How many people are testing out this makeup? Trust me. Make sure you, if you're going to test anything out, I would just do it on the back of your hand. But if you're really going to try it out, sanitize it like crazy only thing is that i think they skipped over the nose contour which sucks it's th that was like the one thing i was most excited to you know kind of do oh all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out the way that i would blend out a nose contour and that is using a smaller blending brush by the way this one is from i don't even know who makes it oh it cosmetics makes it and on one side you have like a foundation brush and on the other i think this is supposed to be a concealer brush eyeshadow brush whatever brush i'm just using this to blend out the nose contour so what powder are you using you're using your you're, powder i'm using petal she's a little translucent with a tiny tinge of pink in her and what that does is cancels out any kind of like little bluey purpley stuff underneath the eye okay so he's got kind of going in all over with a translucent powder I'm using this one from ColourPop. This is actually my first time using this. He's again using like that same technique. It's just like such an artist thing that he's doing um, to really kind of apply the powder. You guys know I like to use my beauty sponge, but you know what? This is actually making the powder go on so nice on my skin. And I really love this dome shape. I never use this brush. I use it Ooh. a lot for highlighters. He's applying a lot of highlight, my gosh. Okay, so I don't have that palette. I'm gonna actually use the Jaclyn palette, which is this one right here. I use the shade Glow Up, which you guys know is like my freaking favorite. She really needs to come out with these individually because then you guys need this color in your life. Trust me, you'll see. Love that. See? 
Ooh, yes. Ooh, she's gorge. <gasps> and I just, I'm like one of those people, I just kind of mash everything together. I'm watching this and I'm like, oh, okay. And somehow it looks so great. My fan bra. Yes. Wait, did he apply like a very, okay, I'm gonna have to follow that. I think he took like a small brush. I'm gonna use that same one and kind of applied it right to the center of the nose brush and just kind of apply the highlight in the inner corner as he is doing it on Tati. No, it's like a, um, I'll show you in a second. He's like hesitating. He's like, I don't want to tell you, but really, All right, maybe here it there, here it comes. It was in the, it was in the kit. Okay, it's ooh, a, um, this? ultra sheer body mist sunscreen at 30. Okay, why do you like this? Because I'll show you watch. You ready? Oh my God. Oh. Look. Oh, Ooh. super glow. But it's such Look at that glow now. Stop. Okay, all right. I have a similar product, maybe that exact one. Let me go grab it, and then let's see if we get so glowy like Tati. Be right back. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, so I don't have the Neutrogena one, but I have the good old banana boat, and why are we not in focus? Oh my gosh, there we go. Okay, so I have the banana boat. Let me just go ahead and go for it and see what happens. Ooh, I am loving that. Maybe I don't need to apply that much. Um, but what a great way to like protect your skin and also give it that glow. Okay, I clearly applied too much. Let's let that dry. It's beveled so that you can work with the curves of this brush. It, I created this so that you guys could not think about it. Okay, so he's using a brush not exactly like this, but I don't have a brush like he's using, so I'm just gonna use the same one from Tarte. I kind of wish I had that brush because honestly, it just like, it, it just works for your face, you know what I mean? But we're gonna use this one and I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer. Let me tell you something, I don't think I have hit a pan on a bronzer in a long time and this is the one that I've hit a pan in. This is everything, this is in the shade Beach and if you guys are close to my skin tone, you need this bronzer. It is perfection. Okay, now we're moving on to the lips, which I'm really excited about. Okay, we're gonna connect the top so that it's not two peaks. It's kind of like a round. All right, I'm back with my favorite lip liner at the moment. This is K-Beauty's Fame. It's a really nice brown shade. If you're looking for kind of like a dupe, but not really a dupe, but kind of similar, Max Cork is great as well. This one just works with everything. Oh my gosh. Okay, moving on. And I'm just gonna follow his technique. He kind of overlined a little bit, kind of like, filled in like that. Okay, is mine a lot more dramatic than hers? Keeping in mind, obviously, me and Tati are completely different skin tones, um, but this is kind of like what he did. Rhymes with Tati. <laughs> Tati the hottie. I'm so cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, this is important. Tip, tip alert. You know what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Going out to the edge. Not <laughs> I'm taking it and out into the edge. Oh, this is like makeup choreography. One and two and out and to the end. Now, I don't really ever wear lip light or lip gloss with lip liner. I almost always put a lipstick on. And I kind of wish I did the same right now because my lips look nothing like Tati's. So, I feel like I need a redo, guys. Because now that I'm looking at it, it's not really looking like Tati's. Hers are like true like nude lips and mine look more like brown. So, mm -mm -mm. I gotta, I gotta fix this. I'm gonna be right back one second. This is from Becca in the shade N Dune, and I'm gonna apply that in the center of my lips. Now I know Scott didn't do this, but I wanna achieve kind of like the same look that Tati's going for. So I'm gonna kind of just fill in my lips like this, press my lips together, really kind of like blend everything out, and then I'm gonna go in with the gloss um, from Todd or from uh, Fenty and kind of just apply like that see now I feel like it looks more like hers wait they're fast forwarding okay okay I'm watching I'm watching quickly talk you guys through what I think he's doing so again same thing to create this really quick halo eye and I'm not doing it as perfectly as he did but basically you just want to start at your crease Bring it all the way to the front of your eye and just swipe your brush back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like this until you are happy with the shape that you have created. I brought over the Jackie Anna palette and I'm gonna use the shade Zam, which is a really nice 
like peachy shade that has a ton of shimmer and I feel like he's using something with a lot of shimmer and he kind of put that all over the lid right in the middle see hers is a little bit more hmm hers is more like I don't know I want to say like maroon mine is more like peachy but that's okay we have different skin tones the technique is the same okay so this is the eyes pretty much done and now I'm gonna kind of like skip through the rest of the video not skip through but like I'm gonna really fast forward here because I have 10 minutes to walk out the door and I still have like uh, another five minutes to go which really means like 20 minutes so now they're just applying mascara I'm using the milk makeup mascara I really really love this one okay so I'm back I redid my hair just put it up in like a really high pony I feel like it just works better with this look versus the bun on my face let me kind of rewind because I did see kind of like the final touches what he did was apply a mascara on the lower lash line deepen up the lower lash line a little bit you have no idea how badly I want to go in right now and just apply eyeliner in my waterline but I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep it as is because that's how Tati's is. And this just gives you like doll-like um, eyes. I, I think it's actually really, really beautiful. Oh my God, stop <laughs> it. I will tell you this, you guys, I have had many makeup artists do my makeup for you know, editorial for different shoots that I've been on. And I usually run to the bathroom and I'm like, Ooh, and like no Fix offense it. to them, but like I know my face and I fix things. You are the only one. You really are literally the only one. Wow, she looks amazing. She looks freaking amazing. Wow. I do agree with Tati. I'm also very particular when it comes to other makeup artists doing my makeup because I know my face so well. I used to be a makeup artist, you know, myself. I've done makeup on other people. So I'm the same way, I'm very picky, but I really just am in love with Scott's techniques and I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot of them. I don't know what is happening with my hair here. Okay fam, so I took a little bit of a break. I wanted to get some work done and um, I also wanted to go out and see my makeup in natural lighting because I was like, you know what? This looks really good in front of all of these studio lights that I have going on today, but what does it look like in natural lighting? And I was worried, I'm not gonna lie. Even Scott said it, he was like, this is gonna look good on camera, as it does, but not so much in real life. But I have to tell you, for me, I'm just so happy with how this makeup turned out, even in real life. Like, it looks so beautiful, everything is so nice and blended, and I'm just obsessed with the contouring technique. You best believe I'm gonna be like doing this technique every single day, and I think this Tarte um, compact right here with the bronzer worked out so beautifully. I also love my lips. Oh my god, contouring outside of them just makes them look so nice and plump and I'm definitely going to be doing that a lot. I learned a lot in this video, as you can tell. And I will just say, this makeup is a lot. Like This video took me from start to finish over two hours, almost like two and a half hours to film. That's how long it took me to do my makeup today. It never takes me that long to do my makeup, no matter how glam it is. So this is like definitely makeup that I would do like if I'm going all out, you know, like a big occasion and I'm going to be photographed. This is the makeup techniques that I would definitely follow. And I love how the makeup turned out. Scott can do my makeup any freaking time because he did a beautiful job on Tati. He's incredibly talented and definitely a true artist. And I'm so excited to be using his techniques in my makeup routines going forward. But anyway, we guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, everything will be linked below. Also, go ahead and link the full video that I followed Tati's video in the description box below. I'm sure you guys have already seen it, but I'll link it anyway. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!